guys welcome back to my channel hello if you are new my name is Jess and today we're continuing our journey in World of Warcraft the Burning Crusade I appreciate you clip <laughs> I appreciate you clicking on this video and joining me on this let's play um we are continuing as per usual right where we left off um straight away sad news before I forget in the last I think two parts I talked about how um I was going to start some Horde characters on some EU servers so that I could play with you guys from the EU region. Unfortunately, that actually is not going to happen. Potentially, you guys might have told me this in the comments, but I record like four parts in advance, so those parts haven't even gone live yet by the time I'm recording this. Um, it's literally not possible. Um, Cross-realm guilds are going to be a thing, but they will only be with like the American servers. And if I wanted to play on an EU server, I would have to create a new account and pay a whole nother subscription fee. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> well, it's already kind of expensive to pay for one subscription fee. So yeah, so unfortunately that's not going to happen. I can still do it, of course. I just can't do it on an EU server like I was planning to. So sad times there because there's a bunch of you who are from EU realms and so I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that before um, before I forgot because sometimes I intend to talk about certain things in these parts and then like literally we get distracted with quests and my brain wanders off in other places and it just doesn't happen. So I had to do this one first. the crocodiles are done I did move my mounts like I mentioned in the last part um, I need to start putting my mounts all in the same spot on all of my characters and the same with my professions because they're they're all over the show with all of them and then every time I switch characters I don't know where stuff is so from now on hearthstone top corner my macros and then my mounts sometimes this will change because like if we actually don't need all the mounts. I mean, I don't need six mounts on my bar, but it's fun to have options. Let's put our buffs onto now before I forget and they expire. The area is looking clearer already. The domes are quite useful, but the major drawback is the rampant growth they encourage in some places, accelerating the growth and proliferation of native species. Master Engineer Gabar will want to know about the results of the diagnostics. If anything, they caution us to keep a close eye on the workings of our dome generators. As the fields become more and more unstable, their effects will become harder to control. It could spell disaster for our expedition and anything else housed within the domes. You'll find Gabar at the Stormspire, just follow the road north from this eco dome and across the bridge it'll lead you to the elevator at the base of the spire. Okay, so from memory, yeah we have Doomclaw to do, and then I think this particular floating island might be done and then we're going to go to the southern one I did um, test out a new add-on last night which I sadly actually don't like it, I don't like in terms of these playthroughs unfortunately it was called um I think it's Dialogue UI. It's made by the same guy who makes Plumber and Narcissus. And it is a really cool um, add on. It's kind of like it changes up how the quests are displayed. But the, the camera zooming was just a little bit too jarring, I felt, for these recordings. And I feel like it would honestly make you guys a little bit nauseous. So sadly, it's not a go. And we're sticking with immersion. Welcome, friend. Dealt with Doomclaw yet? Pleasure doing business with ya. He said what? They're gonna go after Area 52? Oh, this is not good, not good. Keep it real. I literally didn't see him say anything, but that's cool. You have to get word back to Area 52 immediately. Hurry, tell the Rocket Chief that the Burning Legion is after I us now. Work. Okay, I guess we're doing that right now. Um, yeah, so if any of you guys want a recommendation for another quest dialogue interface, Dialogue UI, I'm pretty sure is what it's called. It was really cool. Um, basically, the gist of it is it hides your whole UI like Immersion can do 
and it like zooms right into the NPC that you're talking to so it makes it a bit more like immersive like you are having a conversation with them and then it displays the text on the side in sort of like a scroll kind of aesthetic and it was really pretty and it was really well made and it was super nice but it's just the camera zooming and it, like because it would zoom in when you talk to them and then zoom out again when you stopped so picking up a quest you zoom in zoom out handing in the quest zoom in zoom out and then if you're picking up multiple quests it's just like zoom in zoom out so if you could just have a full conversation with them i think i would have liked it but it was just it was just too just too much camera movement for me and my eyeballs really hey how you doing you're kidding right the burning legion is blaming us for all of that but you're the one that did it i have a headache and it's as big as this rocket okay okay this calls for a change of plans if the burning legion thinks that it's going to come here destroy our town and ruin my dream of cruising through the twisted nether they are sadly mistaken and i know just the goblin goblin to help us out have a good one on the outskirts of town to the east are the proving grounds our top experiment experimentalist dr vosma has been toying with a combination of fell river ethereal and of course goblin technologies there this is in no small part thanks to your gathering efforts junior technician third grade go to him i know that he'll have a solution for saving area 52 and since he's likely to use you as a test subject if i were you i'd bring some friends along Keep just in real. case there's so many group quests or at least they probably were group quests at the time in burning crusade the amount of times they've been like bring friends time is money friend well well it would appear that we that we are in luck young lady i was just recently able to finish the construction of my latest invention the scrap breather x6000 and you're going to have the honor of helping me test it so that it can be used in defense of area 52. right back Dr. Vosma, PHT at your service. Here, take this controller. I want you to act. Glad I, could help. What's up? I want you to activate it and give my newly invented scrap breather X6000 a spin. Just nearby, the controller is tied to my console here, and if you get too far away, the robot will cease to function. Try out everything. I'll be watching and calibrating its servos based upon your test run. Okay. How am I? Oh. I think it can just. Oh! Oh my gosh. Negatron. Slam. Smash. There we go. I wish the controllers were a bit more, um. Sort of like the normal vehicle controls we get. Having it as like a pet is kind of weird. I guess that that was more normal back then, right? There wasn't this, the whole like vehicle situation like before. Oh my gosh, we're dying! Can you take the fell river, please. Instead of me. I did think he would have held. It. Oh, to be fair, they did say to bring friends, didn't they? So it was going to be a bit of a, a bit of a fight. Okay, can't interrupt the earthquake. That's cool. Goodness, we can heal ourselves, otherwise, we definitely would have died. Yo! What did you think? Still needs some tweaking, eh? <laughs> Glad I could help. Well, my girl, that certainly was exciting. And for my money, I'd say that the Scrap Reaver X6000 performed admirably, despite its rookie pilot. Don't take offense, I was just kidding. After all, you just saved Area 52 and the X52 Nether Rocket the from rail. certain doom. What I hope they walk away. Hurry back. Keep it real. I'm certain that the rocket chief is going to want to have a word or two with you. 
If I were you, I wouldn't hesitate to get back to Area 52 and speak with him. I'm pretty sure that's going to finish off the Area 52, sorry, protect Area 52 achievement, hopefully. And then we can go down to the South Little Island. Yo! Or should I say junior technician first grade? Oh hell, who am I kidding? Skipping a grade isn't good enough reward for what you've done. I'm going to make you my first officer. You've saved all of us and more importantly the X-52 near the rocket. I could just kiss you, but I won't. Instead, please let me present you with the gratitude of Area 52. Take your pick. Ooh, we get some good pants and we get a toy. Launch yourself to the stars. For the safety of others, please clear the launching platform before use. Be good. Five hour cooldown. And yes, we got two done. Very exciting. Okay, let's pop our pants on. Um, where did our toy go? Not exactly crucial to use it now, but I just like to get sh crap out of our bags because they're always full. What's up? So, sell any mail. I got rid of. Oh. Yeah, I used to have an add-on that told me what I had collected and what I hadn't. Um, and it seems I must have accidentally got rid of that because it's not sh Oh. No, it does say there underneath, you haven't collected this, this appearance. Requires level 60. Okay. Um... Which is cool. You haven't collected this appearance. I wonder why. Okay, I'm gonna that's good. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to that stuff then. Um let's go down to the South Island. Um yeah, I think it was maybe it was Gosh, I can't even remember the name of it now. I'll have to go get it again. It was one that used to tell you if um, items were upgrades or not. I'm guessing that also told you if you'd collected it or not. Because like I mentioned in the last part, my hunter was now displaying future warband collected on on gear that wasn't male. Um, and it's not it wasn't displaying it for my shaman. So I'm assuming it was because maybe only Dragonflight gear was already doing that and the past expansions weren't yet. Um, but regardless, that should all be live by the time of the pre-patch, which is coming out next week, which is very exciting. I cannot wait. We'll be getting cross-realm guilds, which will be cool. Um, so any of you who want to join the guild who aren't on Silvermoon, but are on an American realm, um, or American server, will be able to, um, to join the guild if you wish. So that's cool. I'm excited for that. Most of, like I said before, most of you are in the EU though it seems, so that doesn't work, but it's still, it's, it's a, it's a something. It's a, it's a start. That's the word. It's a start. I don't even know what I'm meant to be doing here. Oh, just kill three archers. Alrighty, three more. Should be pretty easy. They're basically everywhere. Who's that? Flame Cuba. Looked like he might have been a named person at first, but no. Oh, 
dumb. And hand in a super close by as well. Why am I still in combat? Who's attacking me? I have no clue. I just realized I have this heroism spell as well that I have not, I think I've used like once when we first got it and then I'm like, me, have I used it again? Cool, must have been one of those mana worms, I guess. Needs more cowbell. Oh, is it the... Bessie? The cow looks at you distrustfully but stands its ground. Removing the bell from your pack, you ring it a couple times and show it to Bessie who seems to recognise it. The cow allows the bell's cord to be fastened around her neck and looks at you expectantly. Realising that Bessie is still staring at you, you gesture towards the bell's location. You find yourself promising to protect the cow on her way home. Upon finishing your sentence, you realise there's no possible way the cow could understand anything you've said. Shrugging your shoulders, you prepare to guard the bovine on her way back to the bell. Let's go, Bessie. Horn bar. I was gonna say, please don't ruin my escort by me being too far away. We need to get Bessie home, and we need to kill a bunch of stuff, find a hammer. I'm gonna remove these ones that are like just speak to people or the ones we've done so we want to more so um know what we have to kill oh we're gonna take the cow leave her alone It's funny, like I said, I have a vague memory of doing this quest for some reason. Um, it's like one of the weird quests that my brain remembers is like escorting Bessie. Whereas none of the others have really um, had that effect. So I know I at least got this far in um, near the storm before I moved on originally. Where'd she go? In here. Nearly there. Oh well, there's like a little spirit of a cat. Cute. Bessie, is that you? The farmer turns to you. Thank you for bringing back my Bessie. I couldn't live without her. Cute. And we've got one, the other one to hand in. What you've done this day can never bring back the fallen, but perhaps it can help soothe their spirits. Although, truth be told, no amount of blood can quelch my anger over the actions of Kalthas. I'll never forget the blood elf who led the attack. He wore a tabard with a device I've never seen before, over top of crimson armour. He was ferocious and merciless, leading from the front where most other blood elf officers would never be seen. He was responsible for the deaths of many Kirin Tor mages that day, but he didn't linger long at Sunfury Hold. 
Kalthas has ordered him to Manaforge Duro to aid in their attempt to control the area. Find him and silence his bow for good. Alrighty, do we need mana seekers? We do. Let's go. Mana slayers? We do. Mana bomb fragment. I need to try and make sure I actually head towards them. These items we need to get as well because we're bound to kill everything sort of in the process of getting to them. One thing I'm really excited about with the pre patch is I'm. I think the warbands come out with the pre-patch. I think, I know we don't get hero talents until the expansion launches, but the rep sharing with warbands, I think. I've watched so many videos now that I can't remember what um what goes with what, but um, because I'm working on a world awoken on my hunter, just in my spare time, um, there are a lot of re like there's one particular achievement within that achievement where you have to get basically max renowned with I think it's like all of them like all of the I think we have to be in this building um all of the factions like you have to get to like 25 with one of them Eldraken Accord I think it is um so I really want to figure out how much rep I actually have um to make that a little bit easier because I've actually been doing part of the achievements on my warlock because she's the one who did Lawmaster and she's got the most rep with the people um, and some of it on my hunter like the dungeons and mythics and such so yeah so I want to know I want all of the rep to be combined to make it a little bit easier just for that portion of the quest I need to talk to him? no Is there something about a book? Is there a book? Oh, it's right there. I think I need to get all the parts before I talk to him. I just saw that there was an item and clicked it because, you know, forgotten all the quests that we've read now. Um, yeah, so basically the, the rep being shared, even though I know it's not all going to combine because they've probably done some of the same quests like more than once, so it doesn't really work that way, but um. Still, I am still excited and I think it'll be very cool. Where is this other base? It's meant to be like right here. Maybe it's in that building instead? I don't know why I decided I wanted to try to do a World Awoken. Um, because it's such a huge achievement. It's like the meta achievement for Dragonflight. Like it's massive and it's basically showing that you've done everything. And in it but oh actually i can just quickly show you can't i so this is my oh, off topic but world awoken achievement so this is my progress so far the reward is tyvan or tyvan the um the big dog from anaran plains so that's exciting the this i think it's this one across the aisles we have to do all of the um all of the zones like main stuff so i've got so much to go it's kind of ridiculous but also 
Which one is it? Dragon quests. I've only got two here to go, so I'm nearly done with this one. But I've got a friend of the Dragon Isles, which is doing all the ren renowned campaigns, which this is the one that they removed the reputation requirement for, which was cool because normally you couldn't get them till you'd got to a certain renowned, but now that's not the case. This is the one where like, I think you have to get the rep. Yeah, reach renown level 25 Dragon Scale Expedition. I don't have any of these yet, so that's going to take forever. Um, there's like the Forbidden Reach, the Emerald Dream. The Emerald Dream I'm nearly done with. I just have the Adventurer to go. But you get a whole lot of bonuses from like a lot of the rewards for these are really cool. Um, so that has been my current obsession, I can't lie. Like every time I can play well myself in my own time, I am working towards that achievement. The main thing I was trying to do, which I think I mentioned this in the last part, I can't remember, is um, make sure I at least do all the dungeon raids and mythics that are required because soon they're going to be kind of impossible to do, especially until kind of you're max level and geared in the war within and are able to solo stuff. So I just wanted to make sure I had um, gotten those done. So any, everything else is kind of solo and I can do it myself in my own time but it doesn't require trying to have to like trying to have a it doesn't require having to have a group to do it okay it actually sells for quite a lot so I'm gonna get rid of that instead because you have a quest item oh okay apparently we picked it up all good this worn sturdy tome is no spell book as you might expect a current or mage to carry the pages of the volume are covered with hand copied stories accompanied by colorful illustrations the tome seems to be far older than its former owner and may have even been a family heirloom. A powerful tie to the book may have been the last thread tying Balmara's spirit to the ruins of Kirin Bar. Returning it to its proper place on the bookshelf in her quarters might help appease her restless spirit. Oh, and there's another quest. Is there? Why is there a quest marker like right there? I think that's just bugged, I think. Something odd is going on, but um... Let's just continue and ignore. Okay, no, I think maybe we're getting um, lagged out because I can't even change form. So we're just going to keep running and see what happens. Okay, you can attack me. Okay, okay, no, we're good, we're good. No, we're not good. I think the quest thingy is like messing with it. Let's just um, quickly reload. There we go. the book on the shelf I can't sleep without a good bedtime story now I'm certain to rest well well that's kind of sweet oh okay we just need to kill the things now Last one of this, two more of the little small ghosty dudes. And then just the blood elf bee dudes. I don't actually want you, I want you. Alrighty, we need seven more severed spirits. Which is not you, my dude, so you can leave. Yep. 
and say, why do we have a quiz marker here? But it's probably our, um, our old mate. We just like, I don't know. Maybe I need to um, bring him in here. Old mate, ghosty face. I don't know what his name is. Gotten. Archmage Vargoth, that's it. <laughs> have you brought the book? Archmage Vargoth's image seems to inspect the compendium. It's a little worse for wear, but considering the treatment it's been through, it's a miracle all of it survived. Safeguard it. Without it, we stand little chance of being able to break the tower's ward. While I'm glad to have most of Karas's compendium back, it's useless without the heliotrope oculus. You see, Karas was well aware of the sheer power of the spells recorded in the book and took steps to safeguard them from prying eyes. Only a knowledgeable mage can use the oculus to unlock the compendium's secrets. During Kalthas' attack, one of his lieutenants, Spellreeve Marath Marathel, looted it and took it to Sunfury Hold, northeast of the tower. No doubt she thought it was a pretty little bubble. Oh, actually, we don't need to kill her again. My bad, I just saw someone and attacked. more do we need three we can hand in oh we just have to get that hammer too before we do hand in completely it's gonna be in this big building i guess oh no past it past it in here potentially no, still not. casters this is like the small time where I miss being like um, a caster as well so I can hit them more from far away but I'm still really loving being enhancement where is oh master blacksmith you're gonna have it aren't you No? Where is this hammer? Is it gonna be like on the ground? No, one of these dudes might drop it. Oh, okay, okay. I'm up to speed now. Done. Whoa. That looks so cool from here. Which I think we're heading over there at some point soon. Did you have any luck finding my hammer? Thank goodness. Now I can get back to work. I know you think I'm crazy working on the piece that will earn me journeyman status away from the forge proper, but I can't run the risk of one of the other apprentices copying my design. At last, my journeyman project is complete. Can't wait to formally present it to Master Ronesis. The apprentice looks at you as you describe your experiences retrieving the hammer. They attacked you, all of them. By the light, they've gone mad. What are we to do? It grieves me to say so, but it may be necessary to kill Master Ro Ronesis. It would leave me as the only smith in Kirinvar, but I believe my training is sufficient to serve the town's needs. That's the guy we killed before, thinking he would have the hammer, but he didn't. Ridding some fury hold of its garrison is not sufficient to keep the Blood Elves from reoccupying it. Kalthas's followers are zealous and tenacious, leaving them anything to use at Sunfury is effectively an invitation to return. No, it must all be destroyed. See to it that their tenant, their tent and artillery burn to ashes. It goes fists, fists clench. Steal torches from the Sunfury flamekeepers to accomplish your task.
Did you find the remains of the weapon Kalthas used against the village? A mana bomb? Moran turns the fragment over in his hands. It's nigh unthinkable. Even the best minds in Dalaran couldn't have conceived of a weapon like this. The sheer magnitude of the disturbance must have torn a rift in the nether, giving these creatures access to our lands. We are not the only ones battling the influx of the mana beings. The Blood Elves too are troubled by them, but I'm not sure why. Whatever they're involved in over there, they don't seem to be stopping. Instead, I've seen them employ a variety of methods to kill the creatures. The most effective involves magical defenses fueled by some sort of concentrated energy. Capture some of these energy sources and bring them to me. Don't hesitate to stymie the elves if the opportunity presents itself. Custodian Dyeworth shakes his head gently. It is not what they deserved, but it is the best we can do. Silencing the spirits has not bled them of their aggression as we had hoped it would. The malevolent spirits you subdued have re-emerged in the streets of the town. We must uncover what is causing this to happen. The destruction of Kurum Var was just the beginning, or else the spirits would have been quieted by now. The town hall in the southern section of Kurum Var maintained a logbook of all the residents. Last I heard it was in the keeping of battle mage Dathric. Perhaps his spirit still has it. Ah uh, yes, I've heard that Abjuris Balmar was an had an old book of stories, but I had no idea that she brought it with her to Outland. I'm certain her spirit will rest easier knowing that you've found it and returned it to her dwelling. The custodian looks dismayed. I can already see the next wave coming over the horizon. Culling them will work for the time being, but more permanent measures are needed. Okay, so... We have a bunch to do here still. I think in here. I think there's something in here. Oh. There was something about the town hall, wasn't there? Yes. Death threat. We picked up another quest and also our bags are full again i should have really emptied them and we were back talking to that dude Oops. goodness Alrighty, what does this quest say the sword is of exceptional quality, finely crafted and perfectly balanced for a battle mage. The seal of the Curantor and the name Dathric are engaged into the weapon's pommel. Turning the weapon over in your hands, you notice a sense of wrongness radiating from the metal, as if the item is torn between two worlds. Could this be the item anchoring battle mage Dathric spirits to this world? Perhaps returning it to its proper place can break the bond, bringing Dathric spirit to rest at last. I'm just going to see if we have any food. Here's some potions. Can't use them right now, damn it. Um, so we're just going to get rid of them. Um, I was thinking of food just because I could eat it, because I'm trying to work on also the taste like chicken achievement. Um so I'm basically eating anything I find just to ensure that um that I don't miss anything. everything in this little town so we'll go hand in empty my bags hopefully and then um go to the others
Master Ronus taught me everything I know about my trade. I will honour his memory by using my skills to serve the people of Kirin Bar. We can get a one-handed mace, which is pretty crap in all honesty. Or some legs, which also no good. So this one sells small. We'll take this one. And we have no bag space. Lovely. Oh, we do have some food. Must have missed that one. Okay, here we go. Eat that. Accept that. Oh, it upgraded. Maybe it will be better now. Um, sell the junk. Twenty forty-one. No, it's still not better than anything we have. I'm guessing if it says like it doesn't say you haven't collected it, that that means that we have. Do you reckon? We have, a new, we have a belt that's better than what we have, so we'll pop that on. Didn't even realise. They got rid of some stuff. I'm going to need to remember to like send items off soon. Yeah, I'm just going to go with it that we, if it says you haven't collected it, if it doesn't say you haven't collected it, that we have. And we'll pop ours back on. Yeah, so now it's gone. Okay. Let's just work to that, um, especially with the male stuff. I'm still going to hold on to the cloth and other stuff just for now until I can confirm. Because I'm excited for all the transmogs we're going to be able to get soon. I'm probably going to run some old raids on my hunter just to, like, get everything. Obviously not everything, but get a lot of stuff. Were you able to find the registry? Custodian Diewith accepts the registry from you, leafing through the pages. Hmm. Seems I was right. There is a pattern here. The most aggressive and dangerous ghosts coincide with the most powerful and highest ranking Curantor who resided in the village. The townspeople and tradesmen seem overlooked by comparison. What could this mean? Whoever is behind the transformation of the spirits has been very deliberate in their actions taking care to target the most powerful mages first, but why? The kind of magic required to influence the spirits of slain current or mages must be very powerful. Why would a powerful mage go to all this trouble? I'm inclined to say this is another plot of Calthasis's, designed to cause more misery here. If there are blood elves here, they're likely to be hiding in the houses across the covered bridge. Okay. Um... In terms of, like I was saying, of the transmog, my other plan, once we've finished the story, like the Lawmaster of the Burning Crusade, is I'm thinking I'm going to get this character to 70 and get her at least mildly geared, maybe. Um, and solo, I mean, she probably doesn't even need to be. Once we're not in chromie time, it's probably fine, but I'm going to solo her through the Burning Crusade dungeons and maybe the raids but maybe just the dungeons we'll see how we go um I need to get the transmog because I'm pretty sure I really liked the the transmog back then I mean it, it, it was, I don't know if it was transmog yet I don't know if it existed in Burning Crusade but um I remember I, I think I remember liking the gear anyways so I'm gonna do that and then that way we can sort of run it in a way that isn't so speed run because groups are just kind of like 100 miles an hour and i think it'll be fun to just sort of solo through them something a bit different obviously if that's not your thing you don't have to watch no dramas there um that's just sort of my initial plan after this playthrough is done especially if i get it done before the burning uh before the war within comes out the glowing orb sits atop a square-shaped pedestal. At first glance, it seems to be a respiratory for magical energy. But what kind of energy and for whose use? The strange magical device resembles nothing you've ever seen before. It's certainly not of blood elf manufacture. As you see the spirits moving closer to the building, the orb glows with a greater intensity, which fades as the spirits leave. There's no question that it plays a role in the corruption of the ghosts. 
How it works remains a mystery. Perhaps Custodian Dieworth will have some insight if you can provide the remains of some of the spirits along with your observations. Okay, so now we need 10 loath loathsome remnants. Okay, why is there no one around now? Will you drop it? Yes, you will. Um, the other reason I thought that would be cool is that we could literally just work through them in order. Going back to my um, plan about the dungeons. Because we could go back to Hellfire Peninsula and just run all of the ones there. Um, same with then go to Zangar Marsh, do all of them there, etc. So I think that'll be fun. Okay, not 100% drop right, so that's good to know. Because I might try to do like one group per recording. So for example, I'd do like all of the Hellfire Peninsula dungeons all in one recording and then do all of the Zango Marsh ones, like just run them one after the other. I'm not sure how long that will take because maybe, maybe it won't take long at all. I don't know. I don't know how long it takes to solo them these days. I am excited to get back into them because they are by far my favorite dungeons in the game. Um, again, probably just because of nostalgia, but they that was when I raided, um, like properly with a guild on a schedule, having to follow rules and like mechanics. Because I feel like, like there are mechanics still and they're quite like intense now, but back then, I don't know it just felt more high stakes and I don't know why that is like particularly but it did um and yeah so I'm quite excited to relive that sort of time period so hopefully that's something you guys want to see Oh, halfway there. Whoa, who is that? Are they? Yep, they're um, elite, so we might die. We're also going to have to come back and kill them later, so I probably shouldn't kill them now, or at least attempt to. But we're here, so whoopsies. At least we know we can kill him. Without elemental out at least, so. Yeah, we'll definitely be back. I kind of like how they have a little quest marker so you know to like keep in mind that we will be back I feel like we haven't made much progress today but I think it's just because we've been in the same sort of section of the zone basically the whole time more 50% of the damage taken by the caster is split with you that's not a cool buff or debuff sorry debuff I 
I'm glad I moved my elemental blast further down my bar because it has helped me to use it less when I shouldn't be using it. I have a feeling this next quest um, hand in may send us to kill that big boss person. So we won't be able to do it yet because I think I am going to need my elemental out. What have you discovered? Custodian Diewirth examines the remnants. The device you described sounds like a necromantic focus. I should have known that no good apprentice would stoop to this. I thought his training would help him from going this far, but I guess he's proven me wrong. Custodian... Oh. I suppose an explanation is in order. You've met one of the Archmage apprentices, Ravendir, but there was also another named Nabarus. He was an ardent student but was drawn to necromancy. When Kalthas appeared with his forces, Nabarus seized the opportunity to betray the Archmage, handing over the secrets to the tower's defense. Now, it seems, he has become a leech. If you are to stop him, we must capture his... phylactery? Knowing him, he would have buried it somewhere out of sight in his domain. Oh, okay, so we're not going to kill that person yet. Gonna dig up something, I guess. Oh, an outhouse? Lovely. You must recover Nabarus's phylactery before we can attack him, otherwise he will be invulnerable. Excellent work. Possession of the phylactery will be the key to our victory. When you enter battle with Nabarus, I will smash it, exposing him to your attacks. Archmage Vargos saw the danger in Nabarus's pursuit of necromancy, but I don't think he ever anticipated that his own apprentice would wreak this much destruction upon the current tour. You must defeat him. Or else we will continue in, or else he will continue enslaving the spirits of our fallen brothers, robbing them of their rightful rest and destroying what little remains of Kirin Var. With his phylactery in hand, he can be confronted by two or three combatants, but who knows what this magic might do to more foes. Okay. Literally we just killed him without it, but I guess. Have we started this quest? No. The sword is of an exceptional quality, finely crafted and perfectly balanced for a battle mage. The seal of the Curentor and the name Dathric are engraved into the weapon's pommel. Okay, we did... We did, I guess we just didn't pick it up because, um... We probably didn't have space for it. Turns out we don't even need our elemental. We're looking at it, um, he about to die anyway. Cool. Done. Um, let's go put Battle Mage, no, Battle, yeah, Battle Mage Dathrix, uh, weapon back. His house is handily enough, right by the hand in. I don't know what I was thinking going out without my sword. I would have put it on if I'd seen it was here. Oh, it's really sad. Oh. Well, Lemon mana seekers all over the show. Oh, didn't see you. You've done well. I can no longer sense any restlessness in death or spirit. I would give much for the opportunity to speak to him one more time, but it is enough that he is finally at rest. The defeat of Nabarus is a great achievement. I can't help thinking that we might have had a chance against the Kalthas' forces if the Apprentice's loyalties had been in the right place that day. And we get a headpiece. 
Alrighty. We're gonna get rid of junk again. Because we always have so much of it. I'm pretty sure I've eaten the mild cheese. I don't think I need that. I mean, my bad if I do. We're not in the Arakoa zone anymore. Don't really need that. I think we still need all of these ones. Oh, and the other thing I forgot is at the end of this, we were going to go do heritage armor as well, because we still have the heritage armor to do. We're just going to quickly do killing these blood elves and handing that in. And then I'm thinking we might be mostly done in this area potentially not like they might send us back here to do some more stuff but we'll be we'll be close cool we got the oculus we're meant to destroy some stuff by killing flame keepers we're gonna give us something I also need to um, have a quick look at the quest again. Steal torches from the flame keepers, yeah. I haven't seen many flame keepers. Also, can I hand in to. Yes. Have you uncovered the Oculus? Excellent. Now we have most of what we'll need to attempt to break Kalthas's magic. And if the Blood Elves suffer from the loss of their local commander, so much the better. The next thing we must do is reclaim my familiar, Glacius, from the Blood Elf Summoner who holds it captive. Summoner Canthin was one of the most senior magisters in the force Kalthar sent to decimate Kirin Var. It's only natural that he would claim my familiar as a kind of trophy. I'm certain that Kalthin, fool that he is, has tried to compel Glacius to serve him. My scrying has revealed that Canthin is now stationed at Manaforge Duro if that terminology has any meaning for you. Cool, we're meant to be heading out there later on anyway. Where are these blimmin' flame people? You know, these are just all archers. Every single bloody one of them. Gosh, what chaos. Absolute chaos. Yep, yeah, so not a single flame person. Where are the flame people? To be fair, maybe I should actually try find them. Because what I have to shoot is down here. Doesn't mean the people are going to be down here, does it? Nope, they are. Oh no, this is a different quest. Hmm. Okay. I actually, unfortunately, don't have time to... I thought we already did these. I guess not, because we have a quest for it, but maybe we did it in a different area. I'm not sure. Either way, this is where we're going to finish up for today. If you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate your support and would love if you could give this video a thumbs up. 
I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next part of our journey. I'll see you all very soon. Bye, guys.